Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to be covering what is progressive web apps. Now, what is is a series where I give you a basic overview of various web topics, allowing you to dive in more and figure out a little bit more about how this stuff works and what it is. So in this video, we're going to be talking all about progressive web apps. And we're going to be mostly hanging out on this developers.google.com forward slash web forward slash progressive web apps. If you Google progressive web apps, this is literally the first link that comes up. Now, what are progressive web apps? Because if you look at this thing, it says they're reliable, fast and engaging. Okay, uh, that doesn't really tell you a whole lot. It, it gives you a little bit more in the paragraphs, right? Explaining some of this stuff. But if you were to read those paragraphs, to be honest, it doesn't necessarily give you any concrete information as to what exactly a progressive web app is. And in the most plain English way of describing it, a progressive web app is a application that's built and lives on the web, but will function more and more like a native application. Now, what kind of things make it function like a native application? Well, that's where this gets interesting. And a lot of these things can be found in this checklist. So if you're at the very top here, there is a PWA checklist. And this will go ahead and to basically give you all of the requirements for what a progressive web app needs to be. Uh, not only that, but there's also this lighthouse that they have here, which is a Chrome extension or an application. I think it's just a, an, um, a website itself. Yeah, Chrome and DevTools. Uh, this is primarily how I run, which is basically an audit for your site to uh, tell you what stuff you need to modify on your site. Uh, so, well, before we get into this checklist, let's talk a little bit about why you would want a progressive web app. And some of those answers are going to come from this checklist itself. But really, a progressive web app is going to function much more like a normal application. And this becomes way more important on a phone. However, it's becoming also more important on the desktop as I believe the latest version of Windows actually supports progressive web applications to be installed on your desktop. Now, when you hit a progressive web app, it's going to inst it's going to ping you in the browser and say, hey, would you like to install this as an app? And now in Android, uh, it installs this on your home screen and installs it in your app drawer and it functions very much like an application. But to function like an application, you do need to check off some of these things. And these are going to be the requirements. Uh, for instance, it needs to be HTTPS, as in you need an SSL certificate. Uh, you can get one of those for free from letsencrypt.org. If you're running your own server, it's, it's, it's no fun to do an SSL. Uh, many services like Netlify and uh, Next.js are, are now, Zeitz now, uh, hosting platform make working with SSLs much easier. So it depends on sort of your environment, how you get an SSL certificate. But to be honest, you shouldn't be paying for one at this point because Let's Encrypt can get you one for free. Uh, next, we have pages are responsive on tablets and mobile devices, aka this thing needs to be responsive and needs to look good on all device viewports, no matter what. Okay, next, all app URLs need to load when offline. And this one might trip you up because how many times have we really thought about offline as web developers? And as people have their phones everywhere with them, sometimes you just want to load up an application. You might not have either fast internet or you might not have internet at all. And think about your other applications. If your app doesn't need to be interfacing with the internet at that given point, well, a normal app is going to load just fine. It might even load a cached version of all the data. And so progressive web apps need to function like that. And here, uh, what's great about this checklist is it gives you how to fix, use a service worker. So you can just come here and read a little bit more about service workers. Now, the metadata provided to add to home screen, this is the thing that allows it to be installed on your home screen, which is the add a web app manifest file. And this includes things like information about the application, the icon that it's going to use when it's on your, your application. So you'll want to click on this add a web app manifest, manifest file and get to work on this. Uh, loads first load fast even on 3G. Again, this is going to be an important one overall for a lot of things, even non-progressive web applications. You're going to want to constantly be improving your site. Uh, you can use the performance tools inside of Chrome Web Developer Tools. Maybe I should do a series on that. If you want to see a series on Chrome Web Developer Tools, let me know because there's so much stuff there, especially for improving performance. But you can see here, uh, time to first bite or time to first paint on your page is important. So you're going to want to bump up that page speed by 
either uh, lazy loading images, uh, code splitting, server side rendering, there's a ton of things you can do to decrease that initial first load speed or decrease the initial first load time, not speed. A next needs to work cross browser. Again, it fixes issues when anytime they're in Edge, Firefox, Safari, Chrome. So this should be a given anyways. You should be doing this one. Uh, page transitions don't feel like they block the network. Uh, so basically using things like skeleton screens, just think about using applications and how applications function uh, w just in general and how they feel. This is how a progressive web application should feel. Now next, each page should have a URL. Make sure that all client-side routes can be reconstructed from the state given the URL. So basically, uh, this is easy with modern technology, React Router and stuff like that, where you are uh, ba basically able to manipulate the page URL at will on the front end and make sure every single page is deemed linkable, okay? So again, this one is should be a given. This one is, you know, page transitions. If you're doing page transitions or loading skeleton screens, it's going to take a little bit of work. And uh, cross browser, again, this should be a given. First load fast should be a given regardless. The kind of special stuff in here is going to be the use of service workers, the web app manifest file, um, and the HTTPS is really it. If you can do those things, you can have yourself a progressive web application. And so those are just the baseline. Okay. In addition, there's an exemplary progressive web app checklist as in this is a lot of extra stuff. Site context is indexed. Okay. Schema.org metadata provided where appropriate. Social metadata provided where appropriate. Canonical URLs are provided when necessary. Pages use the history API, right? Uh, this one again, should be pretty easy now with all this modern tech. Uh, content doesn't jump after the page loads. So these are a lot of really interesting things. And my recommendation is to come here and study this, but more importantly, install the Lighthouse extension and run it on your application. Okay, so check it out again. What you want to be doing is grabbing that lighthouse. You want to read through this entire checklist again. The baseline stuff is the stuff that you need to worry about. And the extra stuff again is stuff that's only going to make your site better and better. So this is really what a progressive web application is. And if you do at least all of the things in the baseline, your application will be allowed to be installed on someone's home screen, just like a real application. And as long as you think about it, like, Hey, we're building apps. It doesn't matter if they're on the web or if they're native, then that's going to be the way that your progressive web application can be the most functional and most correct. So check it out. This is is a progressive web app. It's nothing special. It's just a sort of a bunch of little things that add up to make your application a much more native experience. So check it out. Progressive web apps. Definitely, definitely something that is going to be way, way, way better all the time in the future. So get to work and make your application a progressive web app. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to learn intermediate React concepts, head to leveluptutorials.com forward slash store and you can check out Level 2 React where we uh, do all sorts of things like build a toggle component using render props where I take you through all the steps about why and how render props make sense. We talk about fragments. We talk about portals. Uh, we talk about all sorts of reusable project structure. We talk about animations and all sorts of excellent stuff. So if you're interested in intermediate React topics where we build things like the Tinder interface where you're clicking and dragging a card to check out Level 2 React, it's on on sale right now at leveluptutorials.com or you can become a level up pro and get access to this series along with all of the other premium series on leveluptutorials.com so check it out as always this is scott thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one